It's very difficult to maintain being a political artist that really cares deeply about the subjects that you're working on and yet not to be didactic, not to be uh, in a position that is obviously polemical and telling people what is right and what is wrong. Because very often you find yourself in that case that you're just converting the already converted, you're preaching to the already converted. And so, uh, in, in, you know, in a way, um, I, I, you know, I think even in terms of iconography, in terms of communication, I find it very challenging, perhaps the most challenging part of my work how not to reduce the importance, the significance of the issues to, to aesthetic, and yet not to lose aesthetic, not to lose the value of a form of communication that transcends all of those information, such as politics. And, um, but regardless, I think there is a certain taboo within the Western cultural norm that um, artists should approach politics only to a certain degree. Uh, I think they would rather, and I would go as far as saying, um, aestheticizing politics is the way they prefer it. And so an artist like me, just sort of on the border, just sort of um, some, find, some find it really problematic and don't appreciate it perhaps because they find maybe I've gone too far. For some people it just has the right balance. Um, so, you know, I think, you know, like you said, I really try hard to, to balance the idea that a work that sort of has this artistic merit but has a political message.